time to fully know our life training center and welcome to our daily community meditation where today we're talking about being one body so this month in july of 2023 our message for the month is being bold leads to god's best and we talked about how in ephesians the apostle paul prayed asking the people to pray that he would proclaim or make known the mystery of the gospel and we've been talking about the mysteries of God because Corinthians tells us we're supposed to be stewards of the mysteries of God. God's entrusted some mysteries to us, and we're supposed to steward those mysteries well. Now, in my book, Cracking Heaven's Code, which is God's system for restoring abundant health, we talk about the mysteries of God. We talk about eight different mysteries. And today we're on mystery number seven, which is one body. Ephesians chapter three, verse six. It says, this mystery is that the Gentiles are fellow heirs, members of the same body, members of one body, and partakers of the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. So it used to be that the Jews and the Gentiles, they were separated. But it says that through the body of Jesus, we've been reconciled together, been made one, one body. This revelation of just unification Revelation, the mystery of just being united together as one, the synergy that happens from unity. And so we're going to take communion over this today. Asking God to help us to understand this and walk in this consistently. Let's get started with our daily prayer. And then we'll get into our time of communion after that. Heavenly Father, I pray for everybody who's watching or listening. Their families, their friends, everybody connected to them and all of our church and governmental leaders. And I thank you for releasing us from darkness and transferring us into the light, into the kingdom of your dear son. I thank you for your purpose and grace given to us in Christ Jesus before time ever began. And that Jesus was struck down, he was smitten, bruised and pierced and crushed and destroyed. Also that you could be on our side, that you could be fighting for us. And I keep asking that you, the Father of glory, would give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that we would know you more and more. That the eyes of our hearts would be enlightened to know the hope to which you've called us and the riches of your glorious inheritance that is in us and the immeasurable greatness of your power to us who believe. The same power that you exercised in Christ when you raised him from the dead. And you seated him at your right hand in heavenly places. Far above all rule and authority and power and dominion. Every name of his name. Not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And you put all things under his feet and made him to be the head of the body. The fullness of him who fills all in all. And Father, I ask you to bless us. And to make your face shine upon us, let us find grace and favor in your eyes. Expand our borders and our territory. Expand our capacity to receive everything you've given us in Christ. And to let it flow through us so that we do good and are a blessing to people all over the world. Send us opportunities to do good and be a blessing today. And help us make the most of those opportunities. Keep your hand on us and help us do today what's right and best in your eyes. And do it with peace and joy and confidence in you. And we ask you to stretch out your hand to heal and do signs and wonders and keep us from evil and pain. Through the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And so, Father, we're asking for your help today. Help us to understand how you've made us one body. Help us to understand the power of being united together as one. What this means for us today. And we thank you in the night Jesus was betrayed. He took the bread and said, this is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, you laid upon Jesus the punishment that we deserved. And by his stripes you've been healed. He was crushed and destroyed by you, smitten by you. So that we could be right and holy and perfect in your sight. All through his one sacrifice. And you raised him up from the dead. You seated him at your right hand. And you raised us up together with him and made us sit together with him. And we get this opportunity today to remember we've been made one with you, one body, through the sacrifice of Jesus. 
Let's just take a, a quick moment to remember. Let's remember our fundamentals today. Remember, you got this amazing treasure. You got this amazing gift. You've been made one with God. You got this all surpassing power on the inside of you. You got more than enough of everything you need. And one of the greatest ways for us to just stay positioned in the light, we've got to stay walking in the light every day. The shortcut to that is stay positioned in gratitude all day long. Pay attention when you start getting pulled out of gratitude. And we got to number two, start filling up that basket of praise. Rather than venting and complaining, let's fill up that basket of praise. Praising God for who he is. He's our healer. He's our provider. He's more than enough. He's the God of all grace, the God of all hope, the God of all comfort, the God of all wisdom. He's got so many names. We can praise him for all that he's promised us in Christ. We've got all these precious promises. And then we've got to make sure we've got to take action. We've got to do those things that we know to do. What do you know to do today? Take action on those things. But Father, I thank you for this bread. And then we get to be one with you. And I ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Let's go ahead and take our bread. Then after supper, Jesus took the cup. And he said, this is the cup of the new covenant. In my blood poured out for the forgiveness of sins for many. And it's the forgiveness of sins that released us from darkness and transferred us into the light. We get to have this covenant relationship with you, Father. A covenant of love and grace and peace. But we've also got a role to play. We've got to give ourselves and we've got to give other people that same grace that you've given us. How do we walk with people when they push our buttons, when they do things that get under our skin? Or maybe we, we mess up ourselves. Do we give ourselves and other people that same grace? That's, that's the deal in this covenant. To walk in love. And when we're walking unified, we're walking together as one, our biggest signal. We've got peace and we've got joy. So, Father, I thank you for this cup and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Let's go ahead and take our juice. Uh, let's talk about some practical application into our health and fitness. So we're a three-part being. We're spirit, we're soul, we're physical body. Often in the world today, we put too much emphasis on the physical parts of health, nutrition and exercise and all these things. But really, we're one. The spiritual and mental and emotional aspects of health all impact our physical body. They all work together as one, those three. And so I, I, I've been thinking of it lately, like the spiritual and mental and emotional parts of our health. It's kind of like an iceberg. You got all that underlying aspects that are huge that you can't see. But they're a, a very, very important part of health because they all function together as one. But I hope this has been up for today. If you'd like to learn more about partnering with us in our program, the Abundant Life Blueprint, you go to the Abundant Life Training Center.com.